this video we'll show you how easy it is for you as a student to use Streamer to view a captioning or translation of your classroom instructions and conversations, to add personal notes to your live transcript, and to save the transcript for your studies. First, I'll show you how to use Streamer, and then I'll show you how to configure your account. There are many ways you can configure and use Streamer. Here's our recommended approach. When you log into your computer, you'll see a desktop icon for the Streamer room that your school has provided you. To view captioning of one of your classes, just click on the icon. Your teacher will also join you in the room. When they do, you'll see their name appear here on the right side. Then, whatever they say will appear in the transcription window. During the lecture, you can add your own private notes to the transcript. To directly add a note, just double click, like this. To edit the note before it gets added, single click and then make the changes, like this. To type a brand new note, type it here. Remember to click the private note box and then enter. At the end of the lecture, you can download a copy of the transcript by going to the Streamer Settings menu and clicking the Download Transcript option. Pick your time frame and format. I prefer DocX as I use Word, but you may like RTF as well. You can also have Streamer scan the transcript to identify the most relevant sentences. Small gives you a very condensed summary, medium a bit larger, and long is basically a Cliff Notes version of the class. Save the transcript to the folder that you have created for that class. Then go back to the transcript and type forward slash clear into the command bar. That clears the transcript so you're ready for your next class. Note that there is no undo for the clear command, so once you clear it, it's gone forever. Okay, that's how you use your streamer account. Let's show you some configuration suggestions. If you are not already logged into Streamer, let's do that now. Open a Chrome browser and go to www.streamer.center. If this is the first time you have ever used Streamer, you'll need to accept the terms and conditions. This then places you in the lobby where you see the rooms that you can use. You probably just have one private and secure room, and that room is probably labeled with your name. Go ahead and click on it. Then, create your desktop shortcut. To do that, go to the Chrome Settings menu, select the More Tools option, and then Create Shortcut. Give the shortcut a name, something like Streamer Captioning. You can also pin this shortcut to your taskbar or add it to your startup folder. Earlier I showed you how to add notes to your live transcript. To create your own note and note categories, click on the Account Settings icon, and then the Phrases tab. This top line is the label that will be displayed in your right side panel. Pick a short label, just a couple of words at most. The phrase is the actual note that will get inserted. This can be as long as you want. If you want, you can add a placeholder to a phrase, something like this. For a placeholder, I like using two underlined symbols. Then you'll just single click on the note, add the date, and then return. Up here is where you can change your username and password, and here is where you can add a picture or avatar for your account. Here's another tip. We recommend that you set up a separate folder for each class and save your transcripts to that folder. It's a bit easier than saving all the transcripts in a single folder. So go ahead and do that. On your desktop, create a folder called Transcripts, and within that folder, create another folder for each class, such as one called Math, and another called History, and so on. Remember when I saved the transcript, Streamer asked me which folder to use. Here's how you do that. Go back to the Chrome Settings menu, 
select settings, go all the way to the bottom and you'll see advanced. Scroll down to the download section and slide this button over to the right. There! Now each time you save a transcript, Streamer will ask you where it should be saved. Here are a few more user tips. If you also want whatever you say to be captioned, then you need to click on your Streamer microphone. The very first time you click on the microphone within Streamer, Streamer will ask for permission to be allowed to use the microphone. Say yes. You only need to do this one time. Remember to turn on and off the microphone when you want to be captioned or do not want to be captioned. This flashing tab shows you if your microphone is active. The right side panel shows you who has joined your room. You can use that to see if your teacher is logged in. You can collapse the streamer window to have it run in the background. The captioning is still being generated. If the mic is on, then everything you say will still be captioned. You can share documents with your teacher by dragging and dropping them into the transcript window. You can send messages to your teacher by typing the at symbol into the command bar followed by the message, such as something like this. That message will pop up on your teacher's computer. You can clear the contents of the transcript by typing clear into the command bar. Per our privacy policy, there is no undo command. So when you clear the transcript, it's gone from everyone's streamer window and it's gone forever. And one final tip, you can increase the font size of the captioning by using the Chrome settings menu to zoom in on the web page. That's it for this video. To learn more, here's the companion video for teachers to watch. And here's the one for administrators to watch. And here is a link with much more information on how to use Streamer in academic settings.